Good morning, everybody, and thank you for joining me this fine Monday morning. And uh, go ahead and get your Bible, if you will. Turn with me to the 87th Psalm. And we're going to be looking at that psalm for a couple of days. And uh, this psalm is a uh, rather dramatic uh, change from uh, pretty much any psalm we have looked at so far. Uh, the psalms we have looked at so far have uh, pretty much all dealt with crisis situations or praise or uh, those type things. This psalm uh, is one uh, that is written um, about Jerusalem. Um, and uh, the sons of Korah address their, their, their love, but uh, more, more importantly, God's love uh, for uh, the great city uh, of Jerusalem. Uh, and uh, overarching all of that, it, while we read this psalm, it sounds uh, much like a uh, praise of Jerusalem. Uh, it is actually, uh, when you look at it, it is a praise of God. Uh, for choosing and uh, taking care uh, of uh, the city uh, of Jerusalem. There are several psalms that uh, are written specifically uh, about uh, Jerusalem, um, and uh, but I think this might be the the just the most uh, clear, the the most um, just blatant, um, just praise uh, for the city, recognition uh, of the city of Jerusalem. Jerusalem is a very uh, interesting city. Uh, it is a city that uh, by all uh, measures uh, probably shouldn't exist. Uh, Jerusalem is a city with, uh, with no river running through it, uh, which in today's world is not quite uh, as uh, important, uh, but uh, certainly in, in days gone by before um, we have some of the irrigation and water systems that we do today, uh, having running water, uh, fresh water, uh, was a, uh, an extremely uh, important um, uh, asset to have, almost a requirement uh, for uh, a city. Uh, to tell you something of the nature uh, of God's love uh, for this city, uh, it is mentioned some 800 times uh, in Scripture. Uh, again, uh, God uh, just has a tremendous love, and we're going to see that in the opening verses, uh, even uh, of, uh, of this psalm. Uh, again, the, the geography of the city uh, is such a Again, that really um, it, it's not just not not ideal for a city. Um, it um, you know it, it's rocky and um, it, it's got a lot of uh, it's just sliced. It's just again just geographically, um, it, it's not a great uh, location uh, for. Uh, building a great city, but God has chosen it uh, and has made it <clears throat> uh, the center, uh, really, of, of, of Scripture. Uh, and uh, while, again, this psalm is going to be talking about all, uh, they're singing about the great things about or uh, about Jerusalem, uh, again, they're really singing uh, ultimately uh, about uh the praise of God uh, for his presence in the city uh, and for his plans for the city. Uh, Jerusalem is an extremely, uh, always has been an extremely uh, important city in the in the plans of God, uh, but it's certainly uh, an extremely uh, important city uh, in the future plans uh, of God, where Christ will uh, set up His uh, capital uh, during His reign uh, in the New Jerusalem. Uh, and so, as we uh, look at this psalm, one of the things that uh, let me encourage you, if you've never uh, done so um, is to is to pray specifically for uh, 
uh, Israel, uh, for her leaders, for her safety, uh, for the city of uh, Jerusalem, uh, to ask God to give you, uh, and, and you may have never thought of this, uh, you may be a very, uh, very patriotic to your country, uh, but that God would give you a love uh, for the city of Jerusalem. You might ask, well, why should I why should I love Jerusalem? Because God loves Jerusalem. Uh, again, we're going to see that in the opening verses this morning uh, that we look at it. Because it's important to God, uh, it should be important to believers. Um, uh, it's just very difficult for my mind to uh, to wrap around the thought that anybody who is a believer, uh, who is saved uh, by Jesus Christ, would not have a love uh, for Israel, for Jerusalem. Jerusalem, because uh, that is the the home, that is the nation uh, that gave us our Savior, uh, and so um, that God would give us a, a love uh, for this great nation. And um, I, I pray one, one of my great concerns, one of the things I look at in voting, uh, is uh, as I look at our politicians, uh, is what is their position towards Israel. Um, and I, I will just tell you a couple of my uh, key uh, ways of evaluating a political candidate uh, is, uh, one, their position on abortion. Uh, I refuse uh, under any circumstances to vote for someone uh, who is pro-abortion. Uh, and second of all, uh, and, and not necessarily in that order, but um, just um, second, my second measurement is their opinion of Israel. If they're not uh, pro-Israel, uh, if they're not for uh, maintaining our relationship with the nation of Israel, protecting Israel, um, I, I can't vote for them. Uh, I'm not going to vote for them. Uh, because God loves Israel, we should love Israel. Uh, and so as we look at this city, uh, we're going to uh, look at, again, an important city. And one of the things uh, that uh, as we think about the nation of Israel um, and, and the city of Jerusalem, as we know uh, that it has always been under attack, uh, Israel, uh, Jerusalem specifically, just biblically, uh, there are nine different occasions uh, where uh, we read of Israel uh, being um, destroyed uh, and rebuilt. Um, 34 times it has been, uh, again, biblically, uh, it was attacked. Uh, and that doesn't, you know, then there were, then there have been other occasions that weren't, um, weren't in the Bible. Uh, and so um, it has uh, always been a, a hotbed of contention. Uh, and so uh, we're going to see in these opening verses again, uh, the great love that God has uh, for Jerusalem. Uh, and therefore we should as well. Look with me in verse one. It says, his foundation is in the holy mountains. The Lord loveth the gates of Zion or Jerusalem more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things are spoken of thee, O city of God, Silah. Uh, the sons of Korah, uh, are listed as the uh, authors of this song, um, and again, they're they're really praising God for uh, choosing Jerusalem and placing uh, His temple there, and where His presence uh, was uh, to be uh, to be given. Uh, and so, Jerusalem is a very special place uh, to God, and so they are uh, praising Him for that uh, and giving Him. Uh, glory for for that, uh, and we see in this second verse it says the Lord loves the gates of Zion. He loves uh, Jerusalem more than all the dwellings uh, of of Jacob. And so again, we have uh, you know we may have a question: Why should we love Jerusalem? Because God uh, loves Jerusalem. And I realize this is a little different uh, psalm, a little different study than we've had probably in the whole 
previous 86 Psalms. Uh, but it is an important uh, Psalm, an important lesson that, uh, again, that we as believers love what God loves, um, that he specifically, he chose uh, the city of Jerusalem, and he loves it more, he says, uh, than all the dwellings uh, of, uh, of, of Jacob. It is the city uh, where Christ would be crucified, is the city where Christ would be buried, and then obviously uh, the city where he would uh, be resurrected for, uh, for our uh, salvation. The church uh, began uh, in Jerusalem, um, and the, the reason we have the gospel wherever you are today, uh, as uh, wh- wherever you may be, uh, we have people listening and watching in, uh, in, in different countries. Uh, wherever you are, you, you have the gospel uh, because of Jerusalem. It came out of Jerusalem. Uh, that, again, uh, and, and so we should love uh, that city. And then in the third verse, he says, glorious things are spoken of thee, O city of God. Uh, Not only have glorious things came out of um, Jerusalem, uh, but uh, glorious things are planned uh, for Jerusalem. Uh, the the Jews, uh, if you go back to the 48th Psalm, uh, the second verse there, the Jews uh, describe Jerusalem as the joy of, of the whole earth. And uh, again, uh, the psalm here, uh, the psalmist here, uh, they're speaking of the future uh, prophecies uh, of uh, of Jerusalem. Uh, again, where uh, Christ will set up his rule, his reign. Uh, the day is coming um, again when Jerusalem, uh, while many today hate Israel and hate Jerusalem, uh, the day will come when Christ returns and he's going to set up his rule and his reign. Um, and when he does, Jerusalem uh, will be the center uh, of uh, of attention. Uh, it will be where the government is centered. It will be where worship uh, is centered. It will be the again the capital city uh, where Jesus reigns. Uh, and and, uh, and so we have a great uh, future uh, for Jerusalem described. Uh, and so. Uh, this, uh, these uh, opening verses in this psalm, uh, again, uh, are just a reminder of the importance of Jerusalem prophetically, uh, the importance of Jerusalem historically, um, and I believe the, the importance of Jerusalem uh, spiritually and, and for the believer. Uh, and so uh, can I encourage you this week uh, to, do, to, to pray uh, specifically for the safety uh, for the well-being uh, of Israel, Jerusalem. Uh, most of us have no concept uh, of what it is like uh, to grow up and from the time you're a small child to be taught uh, to put on a, uh, how to put on a gas mask, uh, to, to live in a, a city that is in constant uh, battle and turmoil, uh, constant attack, uh, and uh, that uh, that we would pray for their peace and their safety. Pray for the leaders of, of our nation, that they would always uh, defend uh, and stand by uh, the little nation of Israel. Um, I think, if, if, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, 49 of the states of the United States are larger uh, than the nation of Israel. Uh, she is surrounded uh, by enemies. Um, and so uh, let me just encourage you today. Um, most of our psalms have been, as we've looked at them, have been an encouragement to us, have been uplifting us. Uh, but this one just reminds us to pray for uh, God's city, to love uh, what he loves uh, and to be concerned uh, about uh, this little city uh, of Jerusalem. And so join me in praying uh, for the inhabitants and the safety of 
uh, and uh, just that, again, that our leaders would always stand by uh, the great nation of Israel. All right, have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow morning.